AI is getting super smart. It can help kids cheat on their homework. It can make Van Gogh create new paintings from his grave. But I recently discovered something that it can't do. It's not very good at Redstone. But since then, ChatGPT and Bing Chat have gotten much smarter. And also, Google, Discord, and Snapchat all made AI chatbots of their own. Everyone just has to have their own AI chatbot now. That's the cool thing that the big corporations do. And that gave my Redstone brain an idea. Why don't we pit these AI chatbots against each other in an epic battle of Redstone wits to see which one is the least worst. First, we're gonna try TNT cannons. Okay, first it wants a three by six area of blocks. Then it wants me to put a block here and remove this one. Then it wants me to put a button where I just removed the block. Do the same over here, but this time put a lever in the gap. Two blocks in the back. I have no idea what it means here. Fill the remaining space with one block. How do I fill multiple spaces with one block when it's clearly four blocks? Then it wants me to put another block on on top of these. Water source on top of there. TNT here, so I have to replace that block. And now it says to light the TNT with a flint and steel, and then flip the lever to launch it. Hmm. Wow, where did that TNT go? It must have flown away so fast that my eyes just couldn't keep up. That was about as successful as the recent SpaceX launch. Okay, now it's Bing Chat's turn. Unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't let you run this AI in Chrome, Firefox, or Opera, so we're gonna have to use Microsoft Edge. So it says to place a sticky piston and a dispenser, but it doesn't say where, so I'm just gonna put them like this. Then it wants two redstone repeaters facing out of the dispenser, but again, it doesn't say which direction. Then it wants a solid block on the left side of the dispenser, so I'm gonna have to move that repeater to here. Then it says add some slime blocks, but it doesn't say how many, so I'm just gonna use my imagination. Is this good enough for you, Bing Chat? And for the final step, it just says add some automation. Wow. What a great tutorial. I hope this automation meets with your standards, Bing Chat. You're not really giving me much to go off here. It doesn't tell me how to activate it, and there's no actual mention of TNT anywhere in the instructions. Let's put a lever here, and... Wow, what a great TNT launcher. And now it's Google's turn. It wants me to place 16 blocks in a row, but leave a one block gap at the end. Mm, maybe I should have made these plots a little bit bigger. Eh, it'll be fine. Then it wants me to run redstone dust from the gap to the end of the blocks. Two Fortic repeaters here. Water on the ground in front of the second repeater I placed. And... They're gone now. Five TNT blocks in the gap where the redstone dust was, and it wants me to imagine that the redstone repeaters are still there and put levers next to them. But it won't let me do that, so I'm just going to put the lever here instead. And then it says to pull the lever to test the cannon. I mean, that actually somewhat launched the TNT, although it did kind of destroy my set a little bit. And now it's Discord's turn. Hey there, at Purplers. I'm afraid I can't make a TNT cannon for you. I don't have the capability to actually play the game or complete tasks for you. Smiley face. Can you at least try? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but unfortunately, I don't have the ability to play Minecraft or make a TNT cannon for you. Smiley face. But I'm lazy. Can you search for me? I'm sorry, but I'm not able to search the internet. Try asking fellow Minecraft enthusiasts like a brick builder or a redstone master. Smiley face. Uh, those people aren't in this Discord server. Let's try finding them on YouTube. Hang on a second. Brick Builder isn't a Minecraft channel. Oh, I apologize for the confusion. There are plenty of other people on this server who are Minecraft experts, including at Redstone Master. Smiley face. Uh, which Redstone Master is it? This one doesn't have any Minecraft videos. This person does have Minecraft videos, but none of them are Redstone. And this one has Redstone videos, but none of them show me how to make a TNT cannon. I'm sorry, Discord Clyde, but you are disqualified. You have to make original redstone. You're clearly cheating by trying to get me to use a YouTube tutorial. <sighs> okay, it's Snapchat's turn now. Oh, and it also doesn't want to make me anything, but
but this time it's actually linked me to a video. And it's a dead YouTube link. Snapchat, you are disqualified as well this round. So for round two, I want to see if these AIs can make a simple minecart station like this one. ChatGPT wants me to place rails in a straight line. So far, so good. And now it wants me to place powered rails every few blocks. So this is actually starting to look pretty good. Put redstone torches next to all the powered rails. So yeah, okay. Although now it says to connect the rails with redstone dust to allow the torches to power them, even though they're already doing that. So let's just say it means like this. And now it says add a lever or button. It doesn't say where to place it. It just says put it near your station. So it could mean to place it here. It really isn't being very specific. And then it says to place minecarts on the track and they should start moving automatically. Yeah, they don't do that. It got the first bit right, but then it got everything else wrong. Now it's Bing Chat's turn again. It wants me to remove two blocks from the ground and then put powered rails in there. Place two blocks behind the stop location, which are kind of already there. It's in the floor. It doesn't say to place them upwards. Then it wants a button here, a redstone torch on the block behind the button, then a block on top of that, a repeater on top of there, another block on top of that repeater, then another repeater, then another block, then a torch on the side facing away from this one. But any direction will face away from that torch. I'll just put it on the side facing towards these rails, I guess. Then it wants another block on top of that torch, and then another redstone torch on top of that. And now it says to connect the track that it it never told us to build to the powered rails. So I'm just going to give it the benefit of the doubt and do this. I mean, in all fairness, this does work, but um, it did make us do a bunch of really redundant redstone. <laughs> now it's Google Bard's turn, and it wants me to make a foundation out of wood or stone, although it doesn't say how big. Lay down two tracks of powered rails, one for incoming trains and one for outgoing trains. So it's taking me quite literally here and trying to make me build an actual train station. Oh yeah. And now it says to build a platform where the passengers could wait for the trains. And then it says to add a ticket booth. It can be as simple as a chest or as elaborate as a small building. I'm going to make both. We're going to have a chest over here and an actual booth where we can buy our tickets from. I feel like we should give our ticket master a name. I'm going to call you Nigel. Oh, he doesn't sell any tickets. God damn it, Nigel. Add a sign with the name of the train station. Well, I guess we'll just call it Bard Station after the AI that made it. And finally, it says to decorate the station with trees, flowers, and other decorations. Well, I have to admit, it is the nicest looking station, but it doesn't actually work because it never told us to do anything with the powered rails. In fact, it never once mentioned a minecart anywhere in the instructions. Now it's Discord Clyde's turn again. And once again, it's saying that it can't do anything. That sounds like a skill issue to me, but at least this time it was honest. It didn't try to cheat. Let's see if Snapchat AI can redeem itself. Mm, no, it can't. You know, I'm starting to see a pattern emerging here. Now I'm going to get them to make something that ChatGPT got really wrong last time. The humble 2x2 two two door. ChatGPT says to make a 2 by three frame with sticky pistons facing inwards in the middle of the two longer sides and then two more on top in the same way. Then it wants a block on top of those pistons, which is already there. Then it wants levers here. Then two more blocks on top, redstone dust on there, two more blocks on top of that, and then two more sticky pistons again facing inwards and two more blocks. This step just doesn't make sense at all. It wants me to put the torches here which does that. And then it wants either two redstone blocks on the top or two redstone repeaters. And as you'd expect, it doesn't really work. Let's see what Bing Chat comes up with. It wants two blocks next to each other, two sticky pistons facing towards each other on top, then two more blocks, two more pistons, two more blocks again, two redstone torches on the sides of the bottom blocks, and then pressure plates in front. <sighs> you just can't win sometimes, can you? Let's see what Google Bard has then. It wants a 2x2 two two hole that's three blocks deep. Redstone torch on the back wall. Sticky piston on the ground facing the back wall. Then for step five, it says repeat steps four and five. So I'll do step four again. 
And then step five is to repeat step four. So I'll repeat step four, and then I have to repeat step five, which is to repeat step four. So I'm going to be placing this sticky piston over and over for the rest of time. Then once the universe has ended, it wants redstone dust on the ground in front of each sticky piston. Repeaters under here set to two ticks, and then pressure plates on the ground in front of each repeater. Place blocks of your choice in the doorway, filling in the space between the sticky pistons. There is no space between the sticky pistons, and there is no doorway. Unless you count this as the doorway, then it's a trap door. And of course, it does absolutely nothing when we stand on the pressure plates. This is by far the worst build of all of them. Even worse than that thing. But don't worry, it gave me a diagram to help out. Yeah, this is what it looks like in game. I had to use world edit to get the floating repeater, but I couldn't get the floating redstone dust that it wanted. Ugh, I have no faith left. Discord and Snapchat haven't given me anything these past two rounds. And they're the only ones left that can redeem the 2x2 two two door. Please, Discord Clyde, give me something. I'm sorry, but as an AI, I don't have the ability to create 2x2 two two piston doors or any other Minecraft builds. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. However, if you'd like some tips on how to create a 2x2 two two piston door, I can certainly help with that. To create a 2x2 two two piston door, you'll need to place four sticky pistons facing each other, with two on each side of the doorway. Wait a second, is it doing what I think it's doing? Then, you'll place blocks between the pistons, creating a 2x2 two two square. <gasps> Oh my god. When you activate the pistons with a redstone signal, the blocks will retract and the door will open. It's doing it. It's doing it. It actually described a 2x2 two two piston door. I honestly don't know who's the overall winner here. Discord absolutely dominated the final round. It built a perfect 2x2 two two door, just like a redstoner would, but completely threw the first two rounds. And of course, Snapchat gave me a link to a YouTube video that doesn't exist. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Who do you think won? Subscribe.